Hello and welcome back to Elvin Arcee's Banishment. Um, we are just resuming exactly where we left off. No save this time between episodes. And just continuing exactly where we left off last time. So just a little summary of where we are. We are a little. We were a little bit low on food last year. We finished the autumn with about a thousand food. But thankfully we made it through this year um, by upping our overall food production. Uh, in fisheries and hunting lodges and gathering lodges. We were able to survive through to this year. Um, last, also last time we added in a market because I discovered that this market was greedy and would steal 100% of the food from this uh, storage barn, which meant all the people who lived down here had to walk all the way up here to get food. And I didn't like that, so I decided to build a second market down here to kind of steal food back. We established a few uh, wood shop or uh, foresters lodges around the outside edge. And we also established this entire upper section here, which is just under development. It's not even close to being done yet. Um, but we also finished up this trading depot, and I haven't put anything in here yet, but well, that's exactly where we ended last time. So one of the things I want to be able to sell off is leather. So we're going to just set up to have about 500 leather in stockpile here. We don't have close to 500 leather, but I think that's the right number. We just want all of our leather heading over here. Now I just want to check to make sure all of my jobs are nicely filled out, and they are. So what you want to do is we want to add in some more wood production. I'm trying to get basically a firewood based economy at least for now and have that as a non-issue ever in this city so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a forester's house up here and we're also going to have just for good measure a hunting cabin just nicely right next to it and i could add a gatherer's hut but i have no will for that right now now it's late winter we have plenty of firewood plenty of lumber we have this area clear cut and i issued an order to have people clear up this area so like I said, I'm trying to maximize my lumber production. And in order to do that, I really want to get, you know, as much area for each of these fire or uh, foresters houses as possible. So I want to clear out all the stones, rocks, and iron from this region. And I'm going to do the same order down here as soon as that finishes. Uh, they're going to come over and they're going to bring it to these warehouses here, or these stockpiles, and that might actually fill them up. So we might have to add an additional stockpile in a few minutes to take that to take care of that. Now I also want to work on expanding out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish an 11 by 11 crop field. Just nicely. And we're not going to assign anyone to it yet. But what we're also going to establish are storage barns. Um, because this is going to be a slightly bigger farm region. I'm going to view this as almost like a farming community type thing. So what we want is we have a farm here. 11 by 11 farm here and here. An important thing about setting these up early, by the way, is that way plants and things don't grow back in these regions um, because they are taken up already by these farms. So establish another 11 by 11. I know this is not efficient because we have this gap. Wait a second, that doesn't look like 11 by 11. Let's just check it out carefully. No, it is 11 by 11. All right, we're good. Now back here is the question, of course. So I need to start it here and go 11 by 11. And we can probably do one more. Now I'm actually gonna move this. So we're gonna cancel this project. I don't want it centered, or there I want it centered in this gap. Because we wanna be able to have people from here have about equally long of a path as the people from the bo bottom half, which I think is just reasonable. So this is a nice little farming community we set up here. A good group of fields. Should provide plenty of additional food. And additionally in here we're going to need more houses. Because in order to have all these farms, simply put, we're going to need houses to house people. And the closer they live to where they work, the shorter their commute is going to be. And the more efficient overall this area, this farmland is going to be. And really... Okay, so this is barely too small. That's fine. And we're going to just set up a few pieces of uh, houses along this back edge then as well. Because I think this is enough farmland for now. So we can establish a couple of houses here. And this will be employ one, two, three, four, five, six more people. So let's just go ahead and set up. First, a bunch more builders, because I established quite a few building projects on those houses. 
and I want them done. And we're going to establish five more farmers. But we're not going to plant these, or not going to set these up until next year. Because to me, at least, it's important to make sure that uh, these crops come in. As you can see, we pretty much use up all of our food throughout the year. And so it's very important to get these crops up and running soon. And, but I think we will manage that without too much concern here. And also, I only have five people unemployed. I thought I increased by six. No, I did not. I just didn't click enough times. I can live with that. So this will handle all the farmer needs for this new crop region. And there should be enough houses that all the farmers can live up here as well. Now, what I'm thinking about adding in, and it might be time to do this already, and this theme seems really early to me, but I seem to have made it through somehow the, the critical early survival phase where I feel like I'm going to die every five seconds um, pretty early this time around, which is great. Uh, simply put, that is marvelous and lets me focus more on expansion and get education up. So, but we're going to get these houses all built. And then once winter comes around, by the way, the fact that this isn't done makes me unhappy. And I suspect that that's because you have a, l no, you don't have a long commute. You're just lazy. All right. This farmer, just a lazy person. Doesn't like working. Uh, and now half your crop is going to go away. It's not ideal. But now what we can do is we're going to drop each of these down to requiring only one person. And this one as well. And then we're going to just set these up to gather a lot of beans. We're going to do three things of beans, two things of wheat, and a third thing of beans. So four beans, two wheat. I think that's acceptable. Should provide us with a fair amount of food. Once the workers propagate through, I'll all be good. And now we have our first trading ship here. Now, what do you have for me? Steel tools. You know, honestly, I would love some steel tools. So we're going to get 25 steel tools. Okay, sorry. We're going to get 20 steel tools. At the cost of 20 of our leather. Alright, you know what? We're going to go for the full 25. I don't know why I thought they were 10 times as expensive, but we're going to go with this. And we're going to establish this trade. And then I'm going to dismiss you. So far, so good. Now, hold on. I do have to pause. I have to pause really quickly. Alright, and we're back. Sorry about that. Okay. So now we continue. All right, we have way too few kids, but I did just add a bunch of houses that should help establishing this or should help prevent or increase the number of kids significantly. And I have a surplus of laborers right now. So I think actually right now is the right time for me to establish a school. I believe schoolhouses help with efficiency of workers. I'm not certain on that. I just that's my suspicion. Eh, could be true. Could be wrong. Who knows? In reality, who really cares? Uh, I've just decided that that's what it's going to be. <laughs> and what I also want to get is a little bit of medicinal herbs going. So I have this area up here, which will be nicely stocked with trees at all times. And so this should have good wildlife and herbs growing in here. So we're going to just establish a herbalist here. And we're going to give him a road that connects to his house. Just kind of get that nicely established. We have plenty of tools. I'm not concerned about tool construction at all right now. We have a fair number of laborers who are working just endlessly on all my random projects that I assigned them. We don't have that much lumber and we have no firewood, but this is the beginning of spring. And so I accept that we are low on firewood. And wow, that finished fast. I guess I have seven workers and only like two building projects going on at once. So. I guess that makes sense. So what we're going to issue a little bit of is a tree cutting order up here. And now, of course, you're going to notice that most of my clearing orders are happening up here. And all my wood choppers are down south. That's not ideal, but I can live with it. Also, I'm a little low on food. That has me a little concerned. So what I'm going to do is increase my hunters to nine. I don't know where my third hunting cabin is. It must be here and just finished. Yeah, okay. We're up to nine hunters. And we're going to go up to four in each of these um, fishery huts. And I'm going to get... I finished another forestry hut somewhere. Where did I build it? No. Or I cut back on foresters at one point. No, it looks like I have... 
Another forestry hut somewhere with a four person limit. And I don't know where that is hidden at. Here. Let's put you down to two. All right, we have another trading house. This one's giving me chickens. Now, I do want chickens. So let's see. At, they cost 40 leather a piece. So what I can get is five at the cost of 200 leather. That's pretty much my entire leather stockpile. But I think this will be just overall a good choice. So we're going to make this trade, and then I'm going to dismiss you. We're going to establish two herbalists. Now, the question is, where do I put my chicken farm? Where do I have room for a chicken coop? Now, uh, this is, of course, a realistically reasonable question. Realistically reasonable. Wow, that, those are words. And I could put it here. Or I could put it here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to establish it right here with a one path gap. 13 by 20. It's a nice size. Should hold a lot of room, plenty of chickens. And will give us just a little bit more diversity here in our crops. And hopefully let us bring in more food. Now, this was impressively, if this has already been planted and harvested, that was really quick. Um, I highly doubt it. I suspect it just never got planted. Because nothing else is even, or at that moment, nothing else was even close to being done on harvest. But maybe this one is just remarkably efficient. Great farmer, you know, the best farmer. Got the best farmers in the world here in Elvin Arcee's Banishment Village. Um... And he just managed to pull it off. Or she. We'll find out. But so far, things are looking good. We got chickens established. We are going into autumn with 4,000 food. And also, this field just seems to be failing to harvest quickly. It will be the last one again. Probably half of the crops again from this field are going to go to waste. Why this field takes longer than this one to harvest is beyond me. Where is your commute? Where do you live? You live right here, so that's not the problem either. All right, I got nothing on that. We're just going to accept it and move forward. Now, what could happen that gives us problems? Many things. <laughs> that's such a non-answer that I love it. All right, we still have these orders out here to clear out the iron. So very slowly, they're coming down here, and they're clearing this out. And we're going to leave that order be for now. We have a ton of iron. We have a ton of stone. I think this is the time for me to take this opportunity... And first, as always, expand a road. Winter has come, which means all my farmers, by the way, have become laborers, which is marvelous. Uh, but we're going to take this opportunity. We're going to build up the town hall. Where is town hall? Town hall, town hall. Uh, there you go. We're going to establish a town hall down here. Yeah. But this is probably taking up space that I could put a mine, but you know what? It's worth it. We're going to put a town hall right there. Now, what we also want to do is drop out a well. Just in case we have some issues out here. We're going to set up a chicken farm and have two people working here. Just, you know, get that filled up nicely. That should help supplement our food. I mean, we have plenty of food right now. If we're sitting on 4,500 food in the middle of winter, I'm a happy camper, and I expect you guys to be as well. Uh, that should be no food concern. Wow, we're over 5,000. All right, we're doing good. I think this is the highest amount of food we've ever had, and it's really because of this extra farm village that I established here. And that's just a great thing. I don't think anyone can complain about that. Now, this area looks like they're still working over here. Why is it taking them this long? Also, I never hooked this bridge up to a path. So let's do that, and let's give this... Forester's house hooked up to a path as well. Now, this seems like quite the project. I wonder if they have other projects that they are assigned to do. Uh, preventing them. Also, we have used up all of our firewood this winter. This is a problem that I should have been paying more attention to. I just kind of assumed we wouldn't. So, I'm going to establish a woodcutter up here. And probably while we're at it, just another woodcutter down here, just continuing along this path. We want to just get firewood as quickly as we can. We have plenty of logs, so that is not the issue. The issue is actually just getting it prepared. Now, I'm hoping these people do not freeze death. All right, it's a 56-year-old forester. Hopefully, you know you have friends that you can go visit. 
and they'll keep you nice and warm. Or I could alternatively just convert this house into a stone house. Oh wow, all my stone is gone. I guess it all went here. I guess, I, I'll, I'll live with that. That might have been a mistake. That might have been an ambitious construction project to set that up this early. Also, we might eventually be running out of tools. Now, I'm not too concerned about that right now, but it's something I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on in the future. And I think that just makes sense. We don't want to run out of tools ever, so I should just add a second blacksmith. And wow, we have another merchant already here. Now, this one's just selling me food, and honestly, we are doing great on food. So just get out of here, dude. You're not wanted. Your goods, your services aren't necessary. All right, I have reached my herb limit of 100. We're going to just make it 1,000. Just get me all those herbs. And maybe herbs have trading value. You know, I'm going to just dump a few herbs into here. And I think this acts as a doctor. But maybe it doesn't. Hospital. Hold on. Where was herbalist? Here we are. Used to gather herbs and provide simple health and treat. Yeah, okay, so it does provide healing. We could establish some clothing shops, but I don't really think we need a clothes in this city. Honestly, we are a nudist colony through and through. And I think the people are happier that way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to issue an order to clear cut stone from this region. Now, of course, there's not that much stone here. They're still working on the iron from over here. But I want to get stone into into our possessions and simply clear out the excessive amounts of stone that are blocking off um, expansion slightly of the forestry huts. There we go. Words are hard sometimes. Uh, but so far things are looking good. We have currently no laborers, so I can't actually fill this extra woodcutter place. But it's late summer, we've only managed to build up 300 firewood of stockpile. That's not great under any stretch of the imagination. Uh, now, where can I cut someone out from? I can take away a couple of fishermen. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take away two of these fishermen again. Because I, I only put them back in there when we had a food sto uh, shortage. When I was really concerned about starvation setting in. So if I just take those back out, we're doing fine. I have two extra people working on chicken farms. Now, this doesn't produce any food yet. And that's okay. Um, what this is just doing is they're just slowly growing up the stockpile from going from eight chickens to hopefully 43 relatively quickly. And then I can just kind of get a few extras of those. Now we can look at grass now. And additionally, we can now have nomads show up, which would be pretty cool to have happen. Uh, our population is fairly steady, honestly. And I kind of want that to be growing faster. Um, I need more kids. So what we're going to do is we want to build... The next expansion area. I can add a few more houses here, and I'm going to do that for now. Just six houses like this, and then two houses here. This is a fair amount of people to be adding in. But I think it's a reasonable idea, because I'm going to probably build a bridge over here, and put another forester's house, and the same over here. So having a few extra houses in this area is not a mistake, in my mind at least. Now, of course, my mind might be wrong. Eh, we can live with that. My health and happiness of my citizens, though, are great. This is by and far above average for me. Might be one of my best starts of this game ever. Um, so food production, by the way, last year we produced eight thousand. We used eight thousand and produced eleven thousand. So we seem to be producing a surplus of food, which is. It makes me happy. It's excellent. Now, firewood, though, we really don't seem to be having a surplus of. If we look at fuels, we used 200 more than we produced. But thankfully, this year, I pretty much doubled our, food, our firewood production. As you can see, we're, we produced about 1,000 this year, and last year we only used 933. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, but overall, things are going well. Trade items, are, as far as trees go, we can plant some peaches, which are nice. Uh, but I want to try to get all the food... And see all the livestock and all the seeds. I think that's a reasonable goal. Also, I realized I did not put a single well over here. Though maybe this well, this acts like a well. I'm not sure. There is one in there. But, you know, to be safe, we're going to put a well here. 
just to give me a peace of mind that there is in fact a well in this neighborhood so in case a fire breaks out because as you saw i am playing with disasters on that we will be able to combat it and survive we're still doing fine on tools and i need just keeping an eye on that loosely here we're going to also decrease the amount of gatherers I have. I think I only have the one gatherer's hut, but I'm going to drop you down by one. And another trader showed up. Wow, I'm getting a ton of traders. Something I did to make... Oh, it's the food merchant. Again. You know, just get out of here. You're not wanted. Honestly. The food merchant is like my least favorite of all merchants in this game. They don't really provide me with any good benefit. Uh, because I have plenty of food. Now, herbs are actually really cheap. They're only worth four apiece. So, stockpiling too many herbs is not necessary. And I'm going to drop this down to one. Because I don't think I need more than one herbalist. Now, we are running out of laborers. And by running out, I mean we have we have one. And really, he's already spoken for at a hunting post. And we're just going to drop this one down to two to kind of make the numbers make me happier. Uh, but we are doing great on food, and so in reality, I'm not too concerned about the hunting post, the gathering post, and the fishing huts, because we have such a surplus of food. Now, we are relatively short on stone, but the orders have been issued to gather stone, we just don't have the laborers. And that's probably being hurt right now by our school. I have a ton of people in school, which is of course a good thing, you know? Education is important. As someone working on their PhD, I really appreciate education and a good education system. Um, but this is something, you know, I want to keep an eye on, make sure we don't run out of laborers. And then what I'm going to want to do, and I'm, I'm hesitant to do this right now, but I'm going to want to build a tunnel through here. And it's going to cost me 80 stone to do it. We could do that. We can't afford the stone amounts quite yet. But uh, it's definitely something. I think I'm going to try to get that built in the next episode. Uh, I think that's a good project for then. We need to get more stone. We need more laborers, which, of course, is my issue because most of my kids are in school right now, which is fine. And honestly, I think I'm going to build a second school. So actually, that's what I'm going to do. I want to have everyone educated. And I just like having a little gap between them for a path in case necessary. Um, and what I'm also going to do just before I end this episode, because it's already been 20 minutes, I'm actually surprised by that or close enough to it. Um, I'm going to build a bridge across the river here to give access to this area. There's a few resources over here, and this looks like a nice area to eventually expand into, especially up here. Um, so getting a nice bridge over here to give access to like a forester's hut in this area just sounds like a good plan. Now, we're in late summer. We only have 400 firewood, but we have 200 logs. I think we are actually a fairly stable log production right now, which is great. I'm not too concerned about running out of logs, at least at the current usage rates. And we're going to increase our overall storage of stock firewood to about 800. I want to have just a ton of firewood if it's ever necessary. Um, and I can always use them in marketing, or not marketing, but for markets for selling them off. So this bridge is slowly under construction. And by slowly, I mean they haven't touched it yet and they probably aren't planning on it. I guess the school is taking priority and I guess that, that makes sense. You know, schools are important. All right, so we're getting a first batch of students are really starting to graduate right now. We've gotten seven new laborers, which is marvelous. And so they're really starting to bring in stone, bring in iron, just finish all these projects that I've slowly been assigning time after time after time. Just keeping them busy. No one's going to get bored in my city. They're always going to have work to do. And I'm actually going to put a few more herbs in here. Because honestly, I don't think we're ever going to use all of them. So I think my goal for next time, and we're going to end this as soon as this bridge is done. And to kind of speed that along, we're going to increase the priority on it. This school is important, but it's not that important. Uh, and here we go. We now have another merchant. He's selling me sheep. Now sheep I kind of want. Now sheep are 600 a piece. I can buy two sheep for 120 leather. And that's expensive. That's pretty much all my leather. But I think it's worthwhile. Yeah. So we're just expanding now our food sources. And then we're going to dismiss you. So we now have two sheep in the pen here. 
And this is underway. So what we're going to want to do next time, I have now a few projects planned for the next episode. We're going to want to expand out to another marketplace area and maybe build a tunnel to get over here. And we're going to want to build a bridge over here and start expanding. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I was really hoping to hold that in for the next like 20 seconds to finish this off. But anyways, we're going to want to expand over here and get a forester's hut. So we have a few projects going on and I also want to get the sheep into a pen so they can start um, increasing in number. But overall, we seem to have stabilized on food this episode. We have got in the town hall up and running so we can start checking things and we can start looking into accepting nomads. Um, towards that extent, I want to get uh, basically uh, there's a dormitory style housing. Uh, this thing, the boarding house. I'm going to want to establish this. That way I can actually accept nomads and they'll have a place to not freeze to death in the first winter while I build them houses. But I think on that note, we will call this an episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have enjoyed the show, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Um, as I've said in the last few episodes, we're trying to make the, I'm trying to make this uh, a three time a week or at least three episodes a week series uh, uploading on preferably keyword preferably. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, but that might be changed. Um, so please feel free to keep an eye out for the videos, and thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.